So the other day I was talking to a friend of mine and we started discussing why some people are successful while others are not. And surprisingly, whoever we talked about, he seems to know the reason behind his or her success. But the common trait among all of them was that they all were lucky one way or another. One is lucky because he naturally got a beautiful voice. The other's video simply went viral on YouTube, so that's also luck. The third one simply was born into a rich family, so he had all the opportunities in front of him. And that's the mentality of the victim. And it's so widespread in our society that most of us truly believe that's how it should be. In fact, those who go through tragedy and hardship in life, we look at them as weak and we pity them. But at the end of the day, you choose how these events are going to affect you. You can view them as exciting adventures that make your life interesting or tragedies that will only make you miserable. Let me just give you a very simple example of how the same incident can lead two people to think in two opposite ways. Let's say hypothetically, you had an accident and you survived, but unfortunately, you lost your feet. If you think of yourself as a victim, you will constantly remind yourself and the people around you that you went through this horrible accident and since then, you can't lead a normal and healthy life. Because of this accident, you couldn't realize your dreams, achieve your goals, or start that business that you always wanted. On the other side, there are people who come to absolutely opposite conclusions after the exact same incident. First of all, he's thankful that he only lost his feet and not his life. It made him realize that life is short and he should take advantage of every minute of it. And the fact that he survived such an accident is simply a miracle. So he spends the rest of his life energized, passionate, and more excited to pursue his goals. You might have expected in this video to get some kind of financial advice on where to invest your money so that you can make even more money. But honestly, everything you need to know about money and investing is available all over the internet. But you are not going to take advantage of them if you don't get out of this victim position where most people are. And I like to think about the example of 50 Cent the rapper whose net worth is millions of dollars. He didn't have a good start. In fact, he lost his parents at an early age. But what's more fascinating about his life is that when he was 25, he was shot nine bullets in his hand, lip, both legs, and chest. Thankfully, he survived. And instead of being afraid to take any risk again for the rest of his life, this incident made him absolutely fearless because he kinda have tested the death itself and there is nothing else left for him to be afraid of. Think about it, he was trying to get into the music industry, but he was also shot in his left cheek, which means he can't properly rap now. But even with all of these injuries, he smashed everything and released his album, and used the music industry as a gateway to financial freedom. Because he took the money that he earned from the music and invested it into multiple other businesses. Remember, most people do not consciously decide to be the victim. The environment they grew up has taught them that. The people they look up to acted like a victim, so they took an example of them. When you grow up in the family where your parents constantly complain that everything is bad because of these uneducated pigs in the White House and the Congress, if only they did their job, the economy would be better off and we would not be in this dark financial position. It's pretty comfortable to be in this position because you are constantly hiding behind someone or something else. Of course, it's by far isn't easy to get out of this victim position and you have to be mentally and spiritually strong in order to fight back. There are multiple videos on this channel that can help you, but I also created an entire course that's targeted to get you out of this victim mentality through building self-confidence. The course is fully animated so that it would not just be helpful but also interesting to watch so that you can complete the course and get the best out of it. If that's what you're interested in, you can find the link in the description. By the way, we have a special offer going on so check it out. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.